Welcome to channel DevOps Consultancy and Solution. In this video, we will create the basic YAML file with couple of stages and then learn how to create the Azure pipeline. So now log into the Azure DevOps service. So I already logged in. So this is my project. The uh, project name is DevOps CNS. If you don't have any project, you can click on the new project. So you have to just give the project name, description and decide whether it's, you want it to be public or private. So I, uh, I choose the private for this demo purpose. And in the advanced setting, so version control, so it will be only there is only one option, git and the work items. So work items is basically you can decide whether it will be agile uh, you want to use or basic or CMMI or scrum. So right now I am using the just the basic. So I already created this project. So you can create this, create the new project by giving the details here. So I just click on the cancel. So if I click on my project DevOps CNS, so this is my project view. So in the left side, you can see the boards, repository, repos, pipeline, test plan. So currently, if I go to the pipeline, I don't have any pipeline. So first, in order to create the pipeline, first, first what we will do, I will create the repository where I will uh, create the uh, YAML file. So I click on the repository. So I have a couple of repositories already available. So I just click here and give them uh, select new repository so in the new repository i just give the name here so it will be demo project one click on create button yes so new repository demo hyphen project one has been created so in what next is i have to add the general file right side i will click on this action item three dots and select the new and click on the file so I want to create the new file. So I will give the name demo hyphen docl devops cns prod hyphen project one dot yaml and click on create. So now the file has been opened. So I have the code written in my notepad. So I will copy here and paste here and explain you what I'm trying to do. So first is the trigger keyword. So trigger keyword will decide uh, that whether you want to run the pipeline when the code has been changed into the any particular branch or you want to run the pipeline manually. So in this I am using the property branches which include the main that it means whenever the code has been changed into the main branch then the pipeline will trigger automatically right. So if you want to trigger manually then you can just remove these properties branches and give none so it if you give the uh, hyphen space none here it will not trigger the pipeline automatically once the code has been changed into the project then you have to manually trigger the pipeline so i want to run the uh, pipeline automatically so i am using the branches property right and in the next is the pool so pool is the where you want to run your pipeline so uh, as you know there are two types of pool one is the microsoft hosted pools and uh, that you can use or other is the self-hosted so i just using here the self-hosted agent which uh, pool which i have created already so i just give the name here pool and the name is self-hosted agent so next is the stages as i told you earlier so in the first uh, uh, Azure pipeline has stages in which you can uh, define multiple stages and each stage can have multiple jobs where you can define the multiple jobs and each job can have multiple the steps. So in the steps you can define the scripts or the tasks. So steps are basically the building blocks of a job in the pipeline. So in the steps you can define scripts or tasks. So scripts can be the shell script or you can use the powershell script so any kind of script you can uh, mention in this script so tasks what are tasks so tasks are basically the specialized steps that perform predefined action provided by the azure devops or its extension so azure devops provided some specialized tasks tasks like use node right so this is uh, required to install the node.js so there are some tasks to publish the build artifacts. 
so this is uh, this this task the main function of this task is to upload the artifact into the artifact repository so there are many specialized tasks or the steps defined by uh, predefined by the year devops that we can define in the task so in this example i am using the scripts here so this i'm using the shell scripts to display the message in the but steps are basically as i said so you can use anything so you can write your own custom script or the shell script or you can use the task to perform all the actions right so first stage i'm using here is the build stage so i am not right now uh, checking out any code i'm not doing the compilation or the sonar code quality and upload into the artifactory i'm just uh, showing you as a demo uh, you know how the yaml file will look like and how the pipeline will look like for you in the next part i will show you how to you can check out the code and how you can uh, you know do the compilation and various steps in the pipeline right so <clears throat> First, uh, I give the name here. The stage name is the build st stage, and the display name is the build and test. So next is the job property. So in the jobs, you can uh, I have uh, we can define the multiple jobs. So first job I have created is the build and test, and the display name is build and test job. So next is the step. First step is i'm just printing the message hello friends welcome to devops channel this is the build job so this is the one line script and next is the next task or the next step is the another script and where i am printing the another message here right this is a demo project one and you are learning how to create the pipeline in the azure dev so here you can define here so in this part here you can define multiple steps or the you can say the multiple tasks here you can define so next is the deployment stage so i have just give the name stage is the deploy stage a display name will be demo to azure right and next pro uh, property is depends on so this stage is depend on the build stage so this is the build stage at the line number 11 which i give the stage name build so what does it means is the stage two will trigger after the build first stage one one which is named build when the build stage will complete then the stage two will trigger which is and next is the condition property so condition is succeed so what does it mean that once the stage build stage will complete or successfully pass then the stage two deploy stage will run right right so if there is an error in the during the compilation or the uh, code quality we said the quality gates and it do not match the quality gates then the stage uh, build stage will fail and the stage 2 will not run right okay so next is the jobs so so i am just created a one job here deploy to azure and the display name will be deploy to azure app service so again i am using here the pool name so why i am using here the pool name this is just for the demo purpose to show you that we can use the pool name inside the stage also so let's take an example that you have a java project and you created the pipeline and that pipeline is running on the ubuntu server so build in the build job so build job will run on the I mean, it will do the compilation upload uh, do the so code quality part and upload the artifact into the artifactory and after that the deploy job deploy job is also running on the ubuntu server and it deploy the application on the queue environment and after that in the pipeline let's say you have a step next stage is the testing stage and it test those test cases or selenium test cases that on the windows server so now you can change the pool name in that particular stage so that's why i just to show you that you can define here the pool name in the in this stage that it will run that particular stage on that pool or that agent right so next is the steps so in or the task you can say so next uh, in the steps you i have just print the messages here couple of messages this is the demo project one for deployment and you are learning how to create the pipeline in azure devops and deploy it to qa environment right and next is the display name so i will commit the file here 
we're gonna edit the file commit so file has been committed into the repository so now I will go to the pipelines so there is no pipeline I will create here the new pipeline so it is uh, asking me an option where you want to pick the code whether from the Azure or Bitbucket or GitHub or the GitHub Enterprise Server so right now our code is into the Azure repository so I will click the demo iPhone project one so now it is asking me another option that whether you want to create the pipeline uh, start a YAML file here or you already have the YAML file created so I will select the second option that my file is already created I already have a YAML file available otherwise you can uh, if you click on starter pipeline it will give you a window where you can write the YAML file so I just click here it is asking me where what is the path so I will select here the file name which is under the main branch demo hyphen uh, devops cns hyphen project one so i click here continue so it fetch the code yaml file this is the yaml file which is in the available in the repository and i click on the run button and it create the pipeline so now the pipeline has been created and you can see it has started it is asking for my permission to run it so i just give the permit permission yes to run on the agent hosted agent so if i click on the build and deploy so this is the display name which i mentioned here in the build file so now the build is running so if i expand here so you can see there are the multiple lines which is it is so if i go to the repository and open in the new window So yeah, so this is the step. So first step is this, uh, run a one line script from build job and second is the run a multiple line script. So if I go to the pipeline, you can see this is the first step or the first task it executed. So this is the first line and it is it display the message here. Hello friends, welcome to DevOps channel. And in the second task, it just measure this is the project one and you are learning how to create the pipeline in Azure DevOps and next it completed the stage 2 because stage 1 passed and based on our condition that if stage 1 which is a build stage if it succeeded then this stage 2 will run so in this stage 2 we had only the one task or the one step which is the multi uh, line script demo for QA environment so I just here so it is this one so it is saying it is a demo project one for deployment and you are learning how to create the pipeline in Azure DevOps and de deploy to QA environment, right? So now the build pipeline has been created and if we see here, there are two stages here. And so far you have learned how to create the, the very basic YAML file in the or the Azure pipeline how to create the multiple stages how we can define the task and the script i have committed yaml file in github repository at the path mentioned here on the screen and will also mention in the description please feel free to check and run your first azure pipeline in next video we will add couple of more stages and learn about how to create the parallel and sequential stages in azure pipeline stay tuned and please don't forget to like share and subscribe keep learning happy learning